Hi there, welcome to the As Promised mid-month update. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about the impact of the second lockdown. Uh, before I do that, make sure you click subscribe to our channel. Uh, you'll get notifications of when we film one of these videos. Keep right up to date with what's happening out there. So that question, has the second lockdown had an impact on the market? The short answer is no, not really. Uh, and let me give you a little bit more detail as to why and how we know that that's the case. So we have two main ways of tracking uh, interest in the market uh, at any given time. The first one is to look at the number of new buyers and viewings being carried out across Manning Stainton. So at the start of November, as the lockdown began, we did see a small lull in activity, but then beyond that, in the week commencing the 9th of November and beyond, uh, those numbers have returned back to the level that we were seeing in October. And that level is some 25 to 30% up on where we were this time last year. The second measure is by looking at the number of people coming to manningstainton.co.uk uh, and the region's busiest property websites. Uh, and the traffic on that site is now 54% higher than it was a year ago and remaining pretty consistent with where it was uh, last month as well. So again, a very good indicator of the number of people out there searching for their next property and taking that first step into the world of property. Um, why is that? Well, let's be honest. This second lockdown, it's a serious moment in this crisis. And I get that we have to be respectful of that, but the second lockdown is not quite the same as the first lockdown that we experienced back in March and April. People are still able to move around. People can still go to their place of work if they absolutely have to. Kids are still at school. And I think for the larger world out there, everyone's just kind of of that view, let's just get on with it. If I want to move, let's make that move happen. We've still got a stamp duty incentive that's going to run out at the end of March. People are still really, really pushing to try and get those deals through before that time. As always, though, I'm going to keep you up to date with what's happening out there in the market through these updates. I'll film another one of these at the end of the month as we come to the start of December, as we look ahead to the festive period and into 2021. Uh, and in the meantime, if you want to get in touch with us, we're available 8 a.m. till 8 p.m., seven days a week. As always, we'd love to talk to you about how we can help you move. Thanks for watching.